Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I understood. So we good. All right. All right. Shalom, Israel. Let's give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the one to the apostles and the elders, great millstone, and Shalom to let out there doing this work of faith and labor of love, true sincerity. Uh, you know, we come at you, brothers, with a uh, you know quick uh, sit down, and we want to uh, entitle this uh, lesson, you know, uh, Chase Sophia, and get into the importance of chasing Sophia. Okay, so with that, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 7. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is the principal thing. Mm -hmm. Therefore, get wisdom, mm -hmm. and with all thy getting, get understanding. Hey, wisdom is the principal thing. But well, principal going into the first thing, which is going and talking about what the word prince. Mm -hmm. You got the word prince and the word principal, so he's the first step. That's you know right. what I'm saying? The next step, the rule. Uh -huh. So that's the that's the first thing that we're supposed to be seeking after, man. That mm -hmm. wisdom, because that is principal in his in his journey, in his constant a uh, uh, walk, this battle that we fight every single day, man. Is what you can extrapolate out of every single situation. So bring that back. It says wisdom is the principal thing. Mm -hmm. Therefore, get wisdom. Mm -hmm. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Right, because through the understanding of a situation, that's how you obtain that wisdom. You know, you get the knowledge, you get the understanding of things, you know, and, and the wisdom, man. You know, it's it's a, a three-tiered thing. You know, uh, something that Apostle Gabar said, he said that, uh, Wisdom usually comes in threes, and you know, if I'm not mistaken, I believe he applies it to brothers or something like that. But the way you know how I'm looking at it now, when you think of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, wisdom comes in threes because you it's a three tier thing. You know, you can't have one of those elements, or you can't have one element without the other. But if you just have knowledge and you don't have understanding, and wisdom, now you're off balance. That's right. You know, and this this truth is all about balance. So we want to maintain all things that have the true essence. Of wisdom itself, you know. Mm -hmm. um, you got something? I got more. Some more. Yeah. 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 It says, "Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. Mm -hmm. She shall bring thee to honor. When thou dost embrace her, she shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, mm -hmm. a crown of glory. Shall she deliver to thee? Right, a crown of glory. Give me um, wisdom of Solomon." Yes, start at uh, verse uh, 17, 6 and 17. You know, so what? Wisdom give you that that grace, that crown of glory. That's what we all seeking after, man. You know, and that's only obtained by wisdom. Because, you know, brothers say it a lot, you know, uh, that one wrong move in this truth can cost us. And that uh, a wrong move could be done by you not using wisdom in any given situation, man. That's why we constantly have to constantly examine ourselves on the daily you know we only have moments within this truth you know you can't try to map out things so far ahead when all we truly have is moments right. we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or the day after tomorrow that's why we say laws wills this laws will that and we hope and pray that you have shy god's our steps but all we have in moments so how you react in any given moment can cost you your life just like the average nigga in the street he let his uh, uh, wrath take over him in a moment, and now he's lost his freedom and doing 20 years of state or doing 40 years or now 25 in life. You know, so all we have is moments, and we have to move accordingly with those moments that's been given because they're precious, you know. Uh, what's the Solomon now? <clears throat> what's the Solomon 6 and 17? For the very true beginning of her is the, is the desire of discipline. Mm -hmm. The very true beginning of her. Who is that her? That's Sophia. That's that wisdom. Is You have to have that desire to want discipline, man. Right? You know? Yeah, you can bring on the definition. You know, getting into what? Uh, discipline. You know? Uh, what's that? How you always quote it? Uh, what Paul said, do I bring underneath my body? Unto subjection. Yeah. At least I preach to others, I myself shall be a castaway. Yeah, exactly. So that's the point, man. And by you doing so, what you showing forth the most high that you're trying to obtain wisdom, that you're going after Sophia by you being able to discipline yourself. You know, uh, brothers may eat certain type of foods and, you know, you know, because of your health situation, you know, you need to cut back. So what you're trying to set in place, a uh, 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 order for yourself, a structure to maintain discipline. You know, or certain things that you may be going through, you know, uh, 
in, in the spirit, you know, with demons messing with you based upon certain uh, physical aspects of your life. So you try to, you know, cut certain things off, you know what I'm saying, within your life so you can obtain more discipline and be more focused upon these scriptures, you know? Real quick, let me just bring it out since you mentioned it. Uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and 27. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, least that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. You got it. That's right, because why? The Apostle Paul, first and foremost, he was under the subjection of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, secondarily, you know, the Apostle Paul, you know, was a vessel used unto the Gentiles. You know, and he was a vessel used to bring correction unto the Gentiles, which is the Israelite foreigners. So the letters that he wrote to the different churches, such as Corinthia, uh, the Church of Corinth, you know, Galatia, Thessalonica, you know, he was writing these letters to correct them. You know, and these letters that he used to correct them, you know, he had to also live by those words in which he told them to live by. So what he had to be in, in subjection unto the words, first and foremost, by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and the letters that he also wrote. Lest he be a castaway, because you don't want to be a hypocrite in this thing, yeah. you know. Yeah. This is Sophia from Online, uh, dot com. Sophia, a feminine, proper name, proper name from Greek, Sophie, Sophia, a skill, a knowledge of, acquaintance with, sound judgment, practical wisdom. Cunning, shrewdness, philosophy, mm -hmm. also wisdom personified, abstract from sophist wise. Exactly. So those are different e examples, you know, that, uh, you know, uh, the word gets into. Those are attributes that you will have of yourself, you know, to be cunning, to be wise. You know, you want to be uh, acute, you know, you want to examine yourself. You want to be circumspect. And how it's getting into what that the wisdom is the the central part of our being and that's the fiber of, of who we are you know is to try to go after wisdom man you know the the mosai yahweh bashmi shah created the worlds based off of what his wisdom man because he is that breath he called for it to happen and he made it happen all off of his wisdom so that's what we're supposed to be chasing after is uh the uh the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Shah and he set it up all through Sophia, you know, that woman. You know, you got guys out here in the world, all they do is think about chasing the physical woman, but we chasing that spiritual woman. You know, something that uh this Benjamite uh said to me, you know, a couple uh weeks ago, he's like, you know, and that's a problem with our people, you know, because uh our, our people are always chasing after, you know, uh uh the uh that that pussy bank, so to speak. That's what he said. You know, being frank, he said we always chasing after that pussy bank. But he was like, you can make uh, uh, deposits, but you can't with, make no withdrawals out of that, man. You know, so with the physical woman, you could put whatever into her, but what are you really gaining out of her, man? Nothing, man. You know, because that's within this current time, and we see how things are, are shaped and formulated. That's all they have to offer us, man. They don't, they can't offer us any spiritual nutrients or anything like that. They do more, they do more taking than than giving, man. You know, that's the nature of a woman, especially the woman of today. So we're here to, you know, uh, uh, push the brothers, man, chase so fear that as spiritual woman, man. You know, brothers that may be suffering, you know, in in the flesh as far as the physical woman. You know, you ain't got to worry about all that because in due time, you're going to have all the physical women in the kingdom. But right now, be about that spiritual woman because there's no woman on the physical side of this earth can ever look better than that spiritual woman, man. You know? That's right. Because, like, like the same goes, you know, in the world, you know what I'm saying, on the physical note, but we can apply it to a spiritual aspect. It, uh, you know, they say uh, you can lose money chasing women, but you would mm -hmm. lose women uh, chasing money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, let me say it correctly. You will never lose women. You you will look that you will never lose money chasing women, but you will lose women chasing money. You no, know, I believe I said it correct yeah. the first time. You know, so lock it. You know what I'm saying? Because once you chase chase the money, you know the women gonna come on the physical note. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately when you chase the money, which is the spiritual money, which is the riches, the Lord gonna impart these women unto you anyway. Isaiah 4, 4 and 1 is going to come into play. Wisdom that we got to chase. That's the wisdom that we got to go after. You know, when you got wisdom, you know how to deal with the elements of the world. You know how to do deal, you know, with the brotherhood. 
You know, you know how to deal with wicked niggas. You know how to deal with women. You know, because the wisdom has been imparted unto you. And there's levels to it. You know, so real quick, let me bring up the scripture, Baba Bashar. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. It says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So even in the aspect, here it is, you come into this truth, you know, you, you have a certain level of understanding, you know, you know, you, you deal straightforward, you know, even on the job, when you first come into the truth, you want to tell everybody about the truth, you know what I'm saying? Because you were babe in this thing, you know, the scriptures speak upon it was that in Habakkuk, it, you may run it and, and tell it, you know, roughly paraphrasing, but it comes to the point in time, you know, to where you got to be wise as serpents, because the serpent is ultimately Esau. Esau don't let you know his moves, man. Esau don't let you know his agenda. But through the Spirit of the Lord, we know Esau's agenda. But we got to be wise as serpents. We know the agenda of Yahweh by Shem Shah. So therefore, we can't just go run and tell that, you know. You can't go out there on the job, on, on the workforce, and, and, and speak upon the truth. Because what? Then your job will be on the line. Then you'll be on the world full of hell. You can't pay your bills, you know. Money is defense. You got to go to work, you know, in order to receive money. Because that's part of the curse that fell upon us going back into Genesis. By the sweat of our brow, that's how you earn your money, roughly paraphrasing, you know. So we got to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. You know, we show sure in favor unto the wicked by not, what, condemning him, you know, on the workforce, you know, so to speak, you know. And that's how y'all buy some y'all shot got it set up. While we deal with two-third niggas, we wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But like the scriptures say, use the world, but don't abuse the world. You know, you got to be harmless as a dove. You know, you got to use God, you know, in, in which, uh, when dealing with the world, you know. Yeah. And, and that's that's the balance that a lot of guys don't understand because, you know, guys would uh, uh, take that and, and twist that mm -hmm. as, as, a, as a cloak for their own maliciousness or what things that they want to do or what they feel is right according to their own mind. And not according to the most size ways of how he wants us to conduct ourselves. Exactly. You know? Exactly. But um, you have more on that? That's it. Oh, uh, go back to that, uh, six. Wisdom. Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon 6. And uh, you said 16? 6 and 20. 6 and 20. Or well, you was around that uh, 17 or something like that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Slow. 6 and 17. For the very true beginning of her is the desire. Of discipline mm -hmm. and the care of discipline is love and the care of discipline you no know, the care of discipline man. Effort. exactly the effort you know what i'm saying wanting wanting it you know that's showing love man because how did the most I, I deal with us you know by us putting forth that effort you know to strive for perfection within this knowledge man to put forth our best forward, you know, uh, uh, to uphold the law, statutes, and commandments, and putting, you know, uh, all our effort towards doing this work, you know, out there on the highways and byways, doing the shy shows, you know, showing the Lord that you're really a soldier for Him, man. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's all about. So that's showing the Most High Yahweh by Shemiah Shah that you love Him, and through that love that you're showing unto the Most High to his to his towards his name and towards the other saints the most high is going to reciprocate that love back unto you by having wisdom of revealed more unto you man you know slowly but surely like even with a physical woman how a physical woman know that you're interested in her? Come on. you know what I'm saying you're going to constantly call her you're going to text her mm -hmm. you're going to hit her up to one and spend time with her you're going to spend money on her yeah. you know what i'm yeah. saying yeah. that's how a chick yeah. know that you're really for yeah. So when it comes to this wisdom, how much how much more this spiritual wisdom? Mm -hmm. You know, you won't spend money on them. Yeah. You know, you won't yeah. pay your tights. Yeah. You know, you won't contribute to the brother and help a brother out when they in the time of need. Mm -hmm. You won't pay the uh for a banner or whatever the case may yeah. be. You know, you won't buy a camera, you know, mm -hmm. if you got the means to do so. You know what I'm saying? To what further contribute to the body of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's how the Lord know that you actually rotten for him. Yeah. That's how the Lord know that you actually chasing Sophia, yeah. you know, because you what? Uh, effort is a reflection of interest, you know, and vice versa, yeah. you know. So you're going to put forth that effort to what? Gain the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah, 
and propagate it to the uh, uh, the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, make it published and known. Yeah, that, that's first too. Cause that goes to a point like I kind of wanted to get into like a lesson of, of like time is money, you know, because like a uh, quick little short thing or whatever, like because I was thinking about it, you know, I had to handle some business or whatever, and they gave me that option where well, I could pay this extra money, you know what I'm saying, uh, to get it done faster, or I could sit around and wait and it take up two hours. But then I thought about it like, well, if I hurry up and pay you this off, you know what I'm saying, it's spend the extra little physical dollars, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, then I could have more time for the work and, and go put in this work with the brother, you know what I'm saying? So I said, you know what, hey, time is money, not physical money, but it's spiritual money. I had to use my physical money to get something done, mm -hmm. but by doing so, now I'm actually to get more spiritual money with the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So hey, so time is money, man, but in the spiritual sense though, you know? That's so right. you're gonna have those certain type of situations like that, you know what I'm saying you might have to lose some physical dollars to actually put in the work of the Lord, but what it's not about the physical dollars, it's just about the effort that you're willing to put forth to spend more time with the Lord, man. So to build up that spiritual bank account, you know, right? Like the scriptures say, wherever their heart is, they shall your treasure be also, mm -hmm. as far as keeping your eyes single. Mm -hmm. So if your, 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 if your heart is set upon the kingdom of heaven, you know, your treasure is going to be there also, you're mm -hmm. going to invest in it. You know, you want to put your, your money into it. You want to put your time into it. You know, that's the treasure, you know, and that's the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh He sees that, you know, and then what? The Lord could vouch for you mm -hmm. unto the Heavenly Father, you know. Yeah. It's all about sacrifice. Yeah, definitely. And love is the keeping of her laws, mm -hmm. and the giving he unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption right the, the assurance of mm -hmm. corruption mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying you're going to be assured by you taking the steps towards sophia you're going to be assured you know what i'm saying that you will not uh, receive corruption man you know what i'm saying but you're going to see that receive that incorruptible crown man. that's why we're chasing sophia man we want to know all the answers to our problems sophia got it right. you know what i'm saying right. Right. sophia got all the answers man yeah. You know what I'm saying? But hey, but Crystal that you might go mess with on a Saturday night, yeah. she got the, the temporary answers for, you know what I mean? Yeah, she ain't got all the answers yeah. that you're looking for, you know what I'm saying? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, she, got, she got temporary answers. Word, she, word. Got, she, she, ain't there, she ain't in there for the longevity. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. And yeah. incorruption maketh make us, make us near unto God. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bring it to a king. Right, the desire of wisdom, the desire of Sophia, bring it to a kingdom, man. The desire, yeah, uh, and, and, yeah. Look up desire and get that uh, Psalms thirty-seven and four, I believe. Yeah, the desire, man. It's the want, the hunger. You know what I'm saying? What what a boxer do when he really want that that championship? Uh, you want that uh that that number one spot? Mm -hmm. He want to be the best box in the world. Mm -hmm. He's going to desire that crown. He's going to go after. It. He's going to chase that crown, putting all the effort, the time, whatever he can. You know, getting up five in the morning, doing Rocky style type shit. Yeah. I'm saying Floyd Mayweather shit, the the, the cowbell and all, all that type of stuff, man. You know, when you when you want something, you're going to go after it, and you're not going to be stopped by no means, man. You know, that's a, that's a fact because even with you know. Uh, Floyd Mayweather's protege, Javante Davis, you know, I follow him, you know, and um, here it is, he was running and training with Floyd Mayweather, three or four o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. for this fight that he previously, that he had, uh, well, yesterday, you know, and, you know, just running, training, getting his endurance up, and he knocked this Edomite out in the third round, man, right. you know, so that's the training and condition he was willing to push forth to what, come out with the victor in the end, man, you know? Come on. Yeah. Well, 37 and 5? Uh, 37 and 4. Yeah, cool. since the brother stepped over me, let me get the definition of desire real quick. Okay. Put my phone down. Okay. Yeah, it says, uh, desire, a strong feeling mm -hmm. or of wanting to have something or wishing for something to happen. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Hey, uh, strong, strong sexual feeling or appetite. Mm -hmm. uh, strongly wish for something. Uh, uh, required, necessary, proper, right, correct. Now it goes into other stuff. Okay. You know what I'm saying, but the, the point, the point is that what 
we strongly hope for this, man. We strongly wish for it. And we're not going to be stopped no matter what. That's why the scriptures say, let no man take thy crown, man. Esau is not pumping no fear in our hearts, man. You know, we, we conquer the fear that Esau is trying to put within us, man. We the, we the lions in the jungle, man. Okay? We, we no longer scared of Esau, man. The Lord woke us up. Uh, how, how I say in um, uh, uh, Genesis, uh, like a, a, a lion who shall rouse him up, you know what I'm saying? Getting into Yahweh Shah and all of that. Hey, we, Lord's willing, we, we are part of that, man. You know, and we being roused up through the spirit of the Lord, you know, to, to, to bark against Esau, man. You know what I'm saying? It said, Judah is the lion's well. Huh. Who shall rouse them up? The huh. spirit and power be held by Shemi Shah. Exactly. That's what's going to rouse us up. Because what the scriptures speak upon, for I shall stir up your minds by way of remembrance, mm -hmm. though you once knew this. You know, so the scriptures are going to rouse up the elect of the nation of Israel. The rest of the two thirds of the nation of Israel, they're going to remain that, that wealth, man. You know, they're going to remain that old lion that got no strength, no fortitude to continuously to fight, mm -hmm. you know, and rise up against their oppressors. The scriptures speak upon who shall uh, rise up against the evildoers and the words of iniquity, roughly paraphrasing, man. Mm -hmm. The elect is going to do that, man. Okay. You know, I got on um, Psalm chapter 37, verse 4. It says, Delight thyself also in Yahweh, mm -hmm. Hashem Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. He shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Exactly. And that's the point, the desires of our heart, because we want the kingdom, man. Because through chasing Sophia, when we enter that kingdom, we're going to have all our all our heart's desires, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it is nothing, and, you know, brothers may talk about the, the physical things. We're going to have the women. We're going to have this. We're going to have Esau upon our neck. But first and foremost, it's nothing more better than us firmly reconnecting back with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Yeah, that's right. the it's being perfect. That's the most important thing. Everything else is an extra, man. But we just want to be connected back to our heavenly Father and our big brother. You know what I'm saying? They're embracing right. us with love and arms. Once again, that's the number one thing, first and foremost, before any of all that that tangible stuff that the Lord is going to give us in the kingdom, man. That's right. You know, that's right. because uh, real quick, it says, um, and that's what we're waiting for. Because the Lord, the Lord. Even the Heavenly Father's going to dwell within us, man. You know, it says, um, let me start at Psalm chapter 113. We'll start at verse 4. It says, Yahweh is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like unto Yahweh, our power, who dwelleth on high, who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth? You know, so the Lord is going to even humble himself to even dwell amongst us. In the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, he, hey, he's called the most high for a reason. There's no entity nor anything above him. But what? The scriptures say he's going to humble himself to behold the things on earth, which is, you know, the Lord's elect, man. Us, man. He's going to dwell amongst us because why? We fought the great fight of faith. We passed the test in which he put us through, you know, and we're, we're perfected, man. You know, so now the Heavenly Father could dwell amongst us because what we've been perfected. The Lord can't dwell amongst us now because we we vow, man. We got imperfections. Yeah. You know, we still got dross amongst us. Because why? We still dwelling in Babylon the Great, man. But in that time and in that season, when the Lord deliver us, he's going to be able to dwell amongst us, man. Yeah, let me get this uh, real quick to my phone about the dog. But this is on um website of uh, preceptaustin.org. It's uh, wisdom. Uh, that Sophia Greek word study. Uh, real quick, it says, "Wisdom Sophia compared uh, safest equals clear is the ability to judge correctly and to follow the best course of action based on knowledge and understanding." Well, following what the best course of action, man. You know, um, it says, "Or uh, uh, wisdom, God's clarity or God's revealed clarity conveys the Lord's solution for problem solving." It's what wisdom does. Wisdom helps the problem solve, man. In other words, Sophia manifests uh, a God's persuasion about solving problems or challenges by applying his solutions, man. You know, so what? We we uh, uh, get through uh, our problems by what? The Lord's solutions. The Lord has solutions all in the scriptures for us. But what? Do you examine the different examples that happened throughout the scriptures, you know how to properly extrapolate information so you can, what would they say in the world? Uh, uh, 
what would uh, Jesus do? Oh, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? What would Jesus do? So right. we have to think, what would Yahweh Shah do? Right. And, and through that, we have the answer to all of our solutions, all of our problems, man. Right. You know? So real quick, I'm going to read that again. It says, a wisdom conveys the Lord's solution for problem solving. In other words, Sophia manifests God's persuasion about solving problems or challenges by applying his solutions. And uh, applying uh, application is understanding, okay? Right. Applying it. Like faith, wisdom is always given by the Lord mm -hmm. and reveals how to please him in a particular situation. Mm -hmm. In short, this is real clarity. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, all true spiritual wisdom resides in Yahweh Shah, the personification of perfect wisdom, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's what this thing is all about. Having wisdom changes so fear that gives you that clarity of mind, man. You know, before when we was in the world, our minds were all groggy. You know how you get into with the filth and the dross of the world and all of that. But now we see the picture clear. We see this growth for what it really is. We see our living standards for what it really is. And we accept it. And we embrace that. And all the suffering that comes with it in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know? That's right. Because what? Ultimately, having wisdom, it allows this world to not be a mirage, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because the mirage, you know, it it, it it gives you a false sense of hope. A mirage gives you, uh, it, it places a situation within you to where everything ain't what it all cracked up to be, you know? And that's Babylon the Great, you know? But what, when you got wisdom, you're able to see through things. You're able to maneuver through this darkness, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And that's because we have the light of Yahweh by Shemi shot. And real quick, I want to bring this out, unless your brother's got something. Yeah, I'll bring that out, bro. Um, Proverbs 6 and 23, for the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. You know, it's back to what you said, you know, um, how, you know, following Yahweh Shai, that's that light, man. Yahweh Shai said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, man. Mm -hmm. So without Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying, we would have still been, you know what I'm saying, niggas basically being a part of the problem, man. Like they say in the world, you're not a part of the a solution, you're part of the problem, yeah, man. Right, but with wisdom, now you can understand, you know, what, what way you went wrong. How can I fix this? Yeah. What can I do to make this better, man? Yeah. And that's what you we're know? just reading in the argue, I'm in in the uh the article, you know what I'm saying, that pretty much what wisdom gives you the solutions to all of our problems. You know what I'm right. saying? So it all goes it's all in the spirit, man. Even that look that wicked nigga, um what's that nigga's Troy Ad. You know, he, he he had a line, you know what I'm saying? He said, it's either you're helping or you're hurting. You know? It's no gray area. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's either yeah. you're helping, you know, pushing the agenda of your help by Shimmy outside and feeding the elect, or you're hurting. Like the brother said, you're part of the problem. Mm -hmm. You know? It's one of the two. Exactly. It's one of the two. And then you got guys that claim this truth, claim to be a part of this truth. But they actually going against the truth. Yeah. They're kicking against the pricks, man. Yeah. So ultimately, what? You're part of the problem. You're hurting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord eradicates problems. Exactly. You know? Wipe you out, man. He wipe you out because the Lord moves through the spirit first. That's the order you have by Shemi Awasha. In case the, the wicked didn't know. Because the elect knows. You know what I'm saying? But what we, we, we're set up to teach, you know, all nations. We set up, you know, to feed the flock, you know, but Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai moves according to the spirit first and foremost, and then he moves on the physical note. Like the brother said, he eradicates you through the spirit, then he eradicates you physically. Like the scriptures say, for I will destroy you with the spirit under my mouth, and then with what? The brightness of my coming, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai moves, man. So it's a purpose, and it's our duty to further push the gospel. Out there on the highways and byways, and doing these lessons on the, you know, and and where wherever you may reside, man, you know. But real quick, I got some on um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter one. I'm gonna start at verse three. It says, "For forward thoughts separate from your how by Shimei Awashai and his power. When it is tried, reprove if the unwise." It says, "For unto a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter." nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. You know? So if your soul is full of malice, that means you got ulterior motives. When you got ulterior motives, you're not going to move according to the spirit, which is wisdom. You know? 
And that ultimately means you're subject unto sin. You know, so that's why you got to watch guys. You got to watch individuals, man, because ultimately they're going to rebuild themselves through the spirit of the Lord. You know, and that goes to show that you're not above the scriptures, man. You're not above your how Bashim Yahushua. Everything that the, 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 the Lord, you know, writes within the scriptures, you know, every, everything is set for an example. You got an example of righteousness what to follow. You got an example of wickedness to follow. You know, but ultimately it's wisdom. So sometimes you got to sit back and watch. You know, when you stand back from situations, you get the perfect view, man. Exactly. Exactly. You got to take yourself out of the equation. When you take yourself out of the equation, <clears throat> you can watch. You can see what's going on. You can see who's getting their ass whooped. You can see who's doing the whooping. Because why? You're not in that circle, so to speak. You're outside of the equation, so you can actually see what's going on. That's why you have Bashim outside called this out of the world. Because why? Now we can see what's actually going on. When we was in the Matrix, we was all caught up in it, man. We was part of the problem. We was part of the problem. We was constantly going out. We was constantly chasing bitches. We was constantly keeping up with the Joneses, so to speak. You know? But when you have by Sunny outside called us out of the world, now we're able to what? Give our time to the Lord doing shows. You're watching for current events. You're watching for the brotherhood. You're actually seeing what's going on. And it all equivalates to the scriptures. And then you're able to measure the times diligently within yourself, man. You know? That that's how the Lord got it set up, man. Hey, you know? hey like uh how the brother said, like this is this movie, brother should check out. Uh, I forgot. I think the name is J Judd something mm -hmm. or Judy Foster, something like that. Uh, Samuel Jackson movie called Twisted. Mm -hmm. Bro should watch that movie. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, in the movie Twisted, you know they went out for drinks basically to celebrate. They you know cops detected and so on and so forth. So they went for drinks to celebrate. You know after a days work on a job. So as soon as she came into the bar, mind you, the bar is crowd room full of people. Now Samuel Jackson stopped her. They looking dead at each other, said, test. Tell me what the guy over there, such and such, got on. And she got to stop right there and give a full description of everything he had on. Because you're supposed to be observant to all your surroundings and know what's going on around you, man. So that's, yeah, be circumspect. That's what old Sophia allows you to do. Be able to peep things in a heartbeat, man. It's like it's like you can penetrate, you can see through walls on some Superman yeah, shit, man. That's what Sophia allows you to do, and by chasing her and obtaining her, you'll be able to gain those righteous uh, powers in the spirit, man. You know. Yeah. It says, uh, "For into malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee the sea." And remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness comes in. You know, so ultimately it's all about your understanding, man. You know, when you have understanding, you're going to be able to apply the knowledge that you have, you know, as well as the wisdom. Because first and foremost, knowledge comes first, you know, but you got to understand the knowledge that you, you receive. And once you understand the knowledge you receive, then you got to apply the wisdom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 the way it goes. Like like they say, wisdom come in threes, man. You know, brother could hold First Corinthians uh the 14th chapter, the 30th verse. You know what I'm saying? But brother could hold that. You know what I'm saying? Because here it is, like I like to make this uh point often, you know, when the spirit allows. You know, if you have a math problem, there it is, they provide a math problem to you. It could be an algebraic equation, you know. Here it is. If you know the you know the problem, you know uh, as far as what they you know offer unto you, and if you understand it as far as how to break down the problem, you know you apply the wisdom that you receive it. Because once you apply the wisdom within that problem, and you also understand it, you're able to solve the equation. You know, that's just, and 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 a, and a moth means what truth. You know. So once you uh, understand a, a particular equation, you're able to apply the wisdom, which is the wisdom of Yahweh by Shemi Shah, and then that's when wisdom brings it to a kingdom. Because what? You done passed that test. 
you know? Like your math teacher may give you a certain test. If you don't understand the problems that she give you, you're fucked. You failed. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about applying the wisdom that which you receive, man. Got that, bro? Uh, 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 first reading is 14 and what? Started at 29. What 29 says? Uh, what's my strap coming with right there? After that, like you were saying, you know, just like with math, like, for example, maybe first grade, you might get simple addition. That's right. And what? Second grade, you know what I'm saying? You might get a. a Equation with addition and subtraction. Yeah. You gotta you gotta get the proper understanding of that addition. Yeah. You know what I'm saying to mm -hmm. be able to, you know what I'm saying, right. graduate into the harder to hard math. It's a harder math, yeah. you know. Because yeah. what? Addition and subtraction comes before multiplication and division. Exactly. Multiplication and division comes before algebraic expressions. Right. You know what I'm saying? So what? You it's a building process, man. It's a build up, so you gotta pass one hurdle to get to the next. If you still stumbling over milk, how you think you're gonna receive the meat? You are gonna choke, man, and fall out. Hey, look, and that's that's all that's all spiritual too, and it show you how that everything. Uh, and uh, second, I just said, uh, see, the Lord have put two and two once against a, one against another, because what you say, what you got the addition. Yeah. What's next to the addition? You got the subtraction. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you go, you either got multiplication and then you got the division. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So one is adding and one is taking away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So because <laughs> even with them algebraic expressions, what they got a watch uh, yeah. PEMDAS. You know what I'm saying? But you know how I how I understood it. You know what I'm saying? The acronym. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? As far as solving, solving an algebraic uh, equation, you got to deal with the parentheses first. You got to deal with the exponent second. You got to deal with the multiplication third. You got to deal with the division fourth. You got to deal with the addition secondarily. Uh, well, fifth, I'll say that, dealing with order. And sixth, you got to deal with the subtraction, PEMDAS. You know what I'm saying? So, but in order for you to deal with the parentheses, here it is. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. <laughs> dealing with that equation. Good, you know good, what I'm saying? Good. So what? You got to understand the addition and subtraction of first and foremost before you can solve that equation. Oh. And that's the milk. Yeah. How much more this truth, man? Yeah. You know? But ultimately, it all ties into wisdom. Yeah. So fear got different variables into it. Exactly. And um, one variable can change the whole equation. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, say First uh, Corinthians fourteen twenty nine, right? Uh, uh, yeah, First Corinthians fourteen twenty nine. Let the prophet speak two or three, and let the other judge. That's what you want. Yeah, you know I'm saying because the brother brought out the point as far as when it's coming in threes, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and what what yeah, how was I do? He sent them out by twos and threes. Mm -hmm. You know. So read that again, Bible Kasha. Uh, let the prophet speak two or three and let the other judge. That's right. Let the prophet speak two or three and let the other judge, man. You know, let the other break it down. Mm -hmm. You got sometimes you may have a brother. It may be another brother bringing out a precept. Another brother bringing out a precept and let the other judge. You know, mm -hmm. go ahead. If anything be revealed to another that sit of by, let the first hold his peace. Mm -hmm. If anything be revealed, to hold his peace because everything is done in order yeah. you know yeah so if a brother's breaking down the scripture to bring forth some understanding the one bringing out the precept got to hold his peace as well yeah. as another brother that may be around they got to hold his peace because yeah. what if you're talking over that brother that can bring forth confusion man mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying that's yeah. why everything must be done in decency and in order right and, and, and by you causing that confusion now you're taking away it not being an addition exactly. and that's why i saying the, uh our one uh, something has been revealed unto one the other one holds his peace mm -hmm. so that one who whatever the lord want to reveal unto him once he thoroughly gets his point across now the spirit is going to rub off on the next brother so he can continue to add him to the next brother they can continue to add and now you're building those building blocks of the word of life man see how that works man <laughs> you see how it works <laughs> Like the scriptures say, everything must be done unto edifying. Mm. Bill, what are we building? Jerusalem, man. Mm. You know, which is the, the Lord's elect. You know, mm. we're painting a picture, man. Mm. You know, 
We are this through the spirit of Prophet Yahweh by Shemiah Lashat. Because why we painting that picture so you get the clear image. But what two thirds is going to be being blind that's not going to see that image, man. Like a possible bar mitzvah, you got to think in pictures. Once you think in pictures, you're able to edify, to paint that picture. You got to see it first before you can put it on the canvas. You know what I'm saying? Like an architect, he got to see it in his mind first in order for him to actually build. You know what I'm saying? That bridge or be able to build that building. That's why there's a blueprint that gets laid out. They see it in the mind first, they put it on paper, and what they actually bring it to fruition. That's how you help us to me outside do what is elect, man. You know? And that's why it's imperative that we do go out there on the highways and byways first and foremost. And we do these shows and lessons, man, to build up the Lord's elect, man. Yeah, hey, uh, yeah, hold on. I was looking for this precept, but uh, yeah, that's why the scriptures say, uh, too, where no vision is, there the people perish. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. So, what, like how the brother said, what, you right. gotta have that vision, man. Right. And, and that vision, or well, when I'm low willing, yeah. what's on my painting, I'm seeing Sophia. I'm seeing uh -huh. bits and pieces, but I'm trying to fully obtain her. I'm yeah. seeing the head, the face. I want to start to see the right. hair. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Perky breasts and all that. Yeah. The shoulders, the yeah. shape. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I want her painted perfectly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. For my image, man. Everything got to be um, in order. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't have big shoulders and little legs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're unattractive. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, we don't want no guts. You know, no big bellies in the kingdom, man. We want right. her perfect, man. Right. Long, flowy hair down at her calf. You know, breast in order, mm -hmm. hips all defined, yeah. thighs, calf muscles, pretty toes. Yeah. We want the perfection, man. Yeah. The Lord wants perfection. We yeah. have to be perfected. Yeah. We the Lord's woman. You know, we shall be tried and made white, which is, represents perfection. Yeah. You know, and that's why we're going through our turmoil now. You know, so when we receive our glory through the spirit and power of by some y'all side in the kingdom, Guess what? The Lord's going to make our women perfect and we're going to be pleased to dwell with them. Yeah. You know, we're going to have the spiritual power to fashion them to our liking. Yeah. Uh, if anything be revealed to another that sit afar, let the first hold his peace. For ye may all prophesy one by one that all may learn and all may be comforted. Because that's what it's about, man. Mm -hmm. For us to learn and ultimately be comforted, man. Because mm -hmm. we're going through hell, man. Mm -hmm. You know? A woman's there to what? Comfort you. Yeah. A pillar of rest. Yeah. Here it is, you going out on a job, you know, you're catching hell from your boss, you know, you're driving home, you got niggas and heathens cutting you off. Heathens, especially them Elamites driving slow in a fast lane, yeah. pissing you off. You know what I'm saying? So when you finally get home, you want to come home to a nice meal, a glass of wine, a back rub, you know? And some comfort from your woman, you know. So, but what? That's what Sophia does unto us, man. Mm -hmm. Sophia comforts us, you know. She let us know everything's going to be all right yeah. when we catch in hell in this in this society while we dwelling in this truth, man. Yeah. You know, and that's the places of the kingdom. Yeah. And, and, and my strap was a comfort. They got a T right by it, and it says encourage. Encourage. You know what I'm saying? So what? Uh, uh, mm. Sophia is encouraging us. To continue to chase after her, man. Yeah. You know, by us prophesying, by us learning from one another, we constantly supposed to be encouraging the spirit to put more effort towards chasing Sophia. Man. What the scripture say in, uh, I believe, Sarat 25, a wicked woman abated the courage. Con. You know what I'm saying? Con. A wicked woman is not going to tell you, she's not going to rub your back and be like, everything's hey, going to be all right. Don't worry about it, baby. Give you a kiss on the forehead. A wicked woman is not going to do that, yeah. man. A righteous woman is going to, you tell her about your day, you know what I'm saying? She's going to give you that back rub. She's going to soothe you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She may give you anything. She's going to give you desires. Whatever you ask of her, she's going to give you. That's, a, that's what a righteous woman would do. But what? How, if a righteous woman would do that in the physical, how much more the spiritual, which is this wisdom, which is this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding? Sophia, man. Mm -hmm. Sophia is what keeps us moving. Yeah. Sophia is what causes us yeah. to go out there on those highways and byways yeah. to do the show we're doing right now. Right. And the rest of the brothers around the four corners of the earth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the motivation hey, yo, for us to receive the kingdom. Hey, this is Persia. Hopefully I can read this from my phone. Die. It's wrong 1%. Did it charge it? Uh, 
Uh, it's all good. But it's, it's from the movie. If brothers ever seen the movie Loving uh, uh, Jezebel, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it came out in 1999 or whatever. Right? But I'm reading a little bit from the description. It says, um, one cannot spend a whole lifetime loving and chasing Jezebels mm. and expect to escape unscathed. That's the price Theodorus Melville has to pay for something he never went looking for, but that came to him. All he ever wanted was someone to call his own, but God cursed him with other men's women. It's what put him in this present predicament. Now a husband of one of the Jezebels wants to kill Theo. So what said what? Uh, he, all he wanted was some, someone to call his own, but God cursed him with other men's women. So what? The Mosaf from Adam going off, he cursed us to chase after the other nation's woman. They're, they're uh, false gods. Their philosophies, they're false gods, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why we trying to tell Israel, man, chase Sophia, man. You know what I'm saying? Chase Sophia. That's the woman that we're supposed to be chasing. We're not supposed to be chasing these other men's women, these other nations' women, man. You know what I'm saying? Their God, their deity, what they believe in is going to give them that spiritual awareness or highness or whatever, awakening, whatever you want to call it, man. Brothers, I can chase Sophia, man. Right, because Sophia would never leave you. Mm -hmm. As long as you consent unto it. Somebody give me some rock four and sixteen. Oh don't be don't get it twisted. It's a balance to everything. Sophia is gonna try you. Mm -hmm. Sophia is gonna see if you really fuck. Sophia is gonna test you. See if you actually gonna be committed to her, if you're gonna remain faithful unto her. You know? Which is the scriptures. Say Sirach four was in Solomon four. Sirach four, sixteen. Uh, so Shabrak uh, 4 and 16 if a man commit himself unto her he shall inherit her that's right if a man commit himself unto her he shall inherit her mm -hmm. you know commit committing is the starting point once you commit to something mm -hmm. as far as putting your hand to the plow that's the start mm -hmm. but how do you keep her persistence mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. persistence yeah, both sides say, you know, draw nigh. Scripture say in James 4 and 8, mm -hmm. draw nigh to God, and he will draw mm -hmm. um, nigh to you. That's right. Mm -hmm. But the Lord got to choose you to draw nigh unto him so he could draw nigh unto you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the Lord moves. Yeah. Uh, if a man commit himself unto her, he shall inherit her, mm -hmm. and his generations shall hold her in possession. Mm hmm what the generations, you know what I'm saying, going to hold her, you know what I'm saying, going to continue to uh, uh, strive for that Sophia, and they're going to continue to pass that on down, you know? Right. Uh, yeah, it's right, because if you have wisdom, you're going to pass it down to your son. Exactly. You know what I'm exactly. saying? If your son got exactly. the wisdom that you gave unto him, he's going to pass it down to his. Exactly. And why does didn't it probably get passed down? Because God cursed us with other men's women, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And you devil is to blame too, man. <laughs> Word, yeah, yeah. We, we gotta kick the puck on somebody. Yeah, We're gonna yeah. blame you Edomites, man. Because yeah. you Edomites beat our heritage out of us uh -huh. in hardcore bond of slavery, man. Uh -huh. So much to the point where we can't even recognize Sophia. Exactly. You know exactly. Yeah. Hey, now we're wandering up and down the streets more. That, that's Paul said. You know? Oh, man. Beautiful. I but him that one. <laughs> Bring that out. Bob Gishon, yeah. Surat. Where it says, him without a woman shall walk up from down the uh -huh. street. Yeah, 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 people find it. Yeah, well, until you get that, I'm going to tell you with this. Uh, verse 17, for at the first, she will walk with him by crooked ways. Because at first, she'll walk with him by crooked ways, man. When we first come into this truth, wisdom is going to try you on knowledge and understanding that you've received, man. To see if you're actually going to apply it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She's going to walk with you by crooked ways. You're going to be tested, man. Um, you know? And bring fear and dread upon him. And bring fear and dread upon you because now when you're in a position of difficulty, you're going to fear your how by some yell shot. Because once you fear your how by some yell shot, then you're going to make the right move. You want to make the righteous move, man. And then that's when the Lord can increase you. You know, because what? You pass the test. Yeah. But if you fail the test, then that's when the Lord busts your ass. Mm -hmm. You know? And when the Lord busts your ass, you got to count that as. Uh, uh, a chastening from the Lord and be happy about it because the Lord dealing with you as sons, man. You know, but if you constantly going off, you know, if you're constantly going off and you're not receiving the correction, 
You know, that's when the Lord get rid of you, man. Then you also got to worry, too, if you're not being chastised on when you're going off, you got to be worried about that because the Lord chastised who he loves. So if you're not being chastised, then ultimately the Lord don't love you, man. But it's even spooky within that because you, you never know what you're being chastised for. Yeah. You be chastised on something that you did two years ago. Yeah. Or you could be pardoned on a certain chastisement by helping a brother, by going out there on the highways and byways or whatever the case may be. So it's a balance. The Lord gives you what you can handle. He chastises on He chastises you upon what you can handle. Mm -hmm. And um yeah, and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline. Because that's what it's all about. Discipline. Before the apostles were apostles, they were called what? Disciples, man. Mm -hmm. Disciples coming from discipline. You gotta be disciplined in this thing, man. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. like when you're in school, they said we shall take forth disciplinary action. Yeah. You know, so the Lord is going to chastise you to what discipline you to get you in order and follow according to His ways, man. Yeah. You know, yeah, and then bringing that torment upon you, you know, it, it, it's pain, that's hell. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like when you go to the gym, you're trying to build your muscles up stronger, right? Well, you got to go through that pain and that torment mm -hmm. because why you pushing the weights and you're trying to push forward to push more weights, you might be at, you know I'm saying, uh, two plates on each side, 245 plates on each side, that's 225. You might be just trying to step it up to get to the point of 275. Mm -hmm. But guess what? As you're trying to build up, that muscle is getting torn. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So you're going through that torment, that pain, and that mm -hmm. agony. But through that, now that muscle is going to grow thicker and stronger, man, more than it ever was before. So that's what the Lord is doing when he chastens us. That's going to, it's going to be being broke down to be built back up again, man. That's and right. then some, man. So we got to go through that hell, that torment, and that sorrow for the most time to create more room for us to grow and endure hardness more and more as the days go on, man. That's right. It's going to be good. Yeah. Um, yeah, and torment him with her discipline mm -hmm. until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. That's right, until she may trust him, man. You know, it gotta be trust. If you don't have trust mm -hmm. in a relationship, mm -hmm. what do you have? <laughs> Nothing at all. Exactly. Yeah. You ain't got, if you don't <laughs> trust your woman, <laughs> you're worrying. What is she Word. doing? Word. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got nothing, man. So that's what it's that's what it's like in a relationship. Brothers been in relationships, man. You know, if you don't trust your woman, if you caught her in some bullshit, or if she may have caught you in some bullshit. Yeah. If the trust ain't there, it's gonna be constant what static, man. Uh -huh. And when you got static, that negates a frequency. Exactly. You know? Yeah. You know you you can't have that free course. You can't have yeah. that complete relationship to right. where you can dwell in peace, man. Yeah. You ever try talking on the phone? <laughs> that, that static. static? Yeah. What? Huh? Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. Like them niggas, man, when they phone be tapped and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. Sad. Or, and like, hey. And what? You just hang up. You're frustrated. You hang exactly. up. You don't want yeah. that disconnect from your house by Shmi Al Shah. Exactly. So what? Wisdom got to trust you, man, first and foremost. Exactly. In order for the Lord to suck. Yeah, we get, we got to have that direct uh, Wi-Fi connection with the Lord, you know? Right. Got to have that direct connection. Like, that's that's important, man. You know, because, and we're getting into what, uh, what it say? Uh, until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. And we know what? Uh, faith, from the Latin word for dare, which means to trust. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, it's going to test your faith, man. Sure. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the faith that you have in your how about Shemiah was shot to the extent of how wisdom is going to deal with you. And the more that wisdom will be able to or will want to reveal unto you, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, so fear does, doesn't come easy, man. You know what I'm saying? She, Sophia not just going to lift up her skirt to you, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to work for it, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. You got to treat it right. You know what I'm saying? Wind it down a little bit, you know? Come out from pockets. Word, word. Um, verse 18. Then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. Show him her secrets, man. Yeah. 
a woman is not going to tell you about her personal life from the forefront. Mm -hmm. You know, once you gain the trust, once she feels though that she can confide in you, then she's going to tell you about her past experiences, what she's been through, you know, how she actually feels about you, things of that nature. For physical women to do that, how much more y'all buy some y'all shot? That's why, uh, what's that, Revelation 3 and 20? You bring that out about the shot. You know what I'm saying? Because this is a point in time to where the Lord is actually going to suffer you. You know? The Lord is knocking. The Lord is knocking every time a thought comes to your head. Huh. The Lord is knocking. Huh. For you to do a lesson, for an idea, that's when the Lord is knocking. And you open up to the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Exemplifies you doing the video. Or, you know what I'm saying? Expound yeah. upon that thought. When you do that, when you execute that, then the Lord is able to build with you. The Lord is able to suck with you more and more. He can reveal more secrets to you. Because what? Wisdom is trying you out. You know what I'm saying? And you're passing those tests, so what? Now she can reveal more secrets unto you. But if you're negating those thoughts, why would I put my trust in him? You exactly. ain't you you, you ain't you you ain't tell what I told you to tell through the spirit yeah. when I was knocking. Yeah. Like Vincent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, um, yeah, yeah, Twilight, Twilight Zone. Zone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was knocking, but yeah. he wasn't opening. He opened then closed the door on him. Yeah. And ultimately, he got a nuke, man. Yeah. You don't want to be that dude catching a nuke because you negated Sophia, man. Yes. Ultimately, he wasn't home because he didn't have that understanding. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Oh, the world is bad, man. <laughs> yeah. uh, like you're having a conversation with yourself. You know, yeah. you talk to a bitch in the beginning. You know, she tell you about herself, her dislikes. Yeah, and yeah. you go ahead and do what she don't like. She's like, I told you, I right. didn't like it. Right. Yeah. I'm like, Damn, I, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want me to keep going on? Uh, Revelation 3 and 20. Yeah. 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 Revelation 3 and 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Mm -hmm. Any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. That's right. And that's the point, man. And if any man hear my voice, that's the point, man. Mm -hmm. If any man will hear my voice and open the door, you know, mm -hmm. no. you know, you got to, you got to, and that's the spirit of discernment. You got to know when the Lord is talking to you, man. Like the scripture saying in Isaiah 30, I will hear a voice to the right and left. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Roughly paraphrasing, mm -hmm. you know, and then, you know, this is the way, walk ye in it, you know? So even with that, when thoughts come to your head, you gotta execute that through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh As long as it's edifying, you know, and the Lord can increase you and suck with you more and more, man. You know. Yeah, verse eighteen. Then will she return the straight weight upon him unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. But if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. That's right. So, but if you forsake wisdom, you know what I'm saying? Ultimately, wisdom is going to give you into your own ruin. She's going to forsake you. Look, you're not worthy. You know, I'm going to try you out. But mm -hmm. if you don't pass, look, I'm going to forsake you. And I'm going to give you on to, give you over to your own ruin. Yeah. And what's the majority of the dudes own ruin? Pride. Man. Pride mm -hmm. goes before destruction and a holy spirit before a fall. Mm -hmm. So, Wisdom, that, that's one thing we as Israelites faced in the world is pride because that's what this world promotes, it's pride. You know, we got to check that shit at the door when we come to the, come into this truth, when we start to walk this fine line of truth, man. And the Lord know your weakness. He's going to try you upon your weaknesses, man. And ultimately, if your weakness is pride, you know, and you fail that test, if the Lord have enough mercy upon you, then you ultimately fail that test to where that last test, you know, is that line in the sand to whether the Lord is going to keep you or get rid of you. You know what I'm saying? That's it, man. Let King Saul be an example, man. It's a balance with repentance. It's a, a false balance is abomination to the Lord. It's a balance with repentance. King Saul was felt bad, you know, upon what he did, you know. But did the Lord forgive him? No. King Saul went to that necromancy, you know. He conjured he conjured up um Samuel's spirit, you know. And what did Samuel tell him? 
you and your son is going to perish mm -hmm. and going to be with me. Mm -hmm. And at that time, Samuel was in the spiritual realm. And what? He died in battle with the Philistines. So there's a balance in repentance, man. So if you don't apply wisdom, you know, in certain situations when you try, that could be your last move, man. You don't want whatever move you make to be your last move, man. This thing's about being calculated, man, more so being humble, you know? Yeah. And observe the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Of repentance before you make the wrong move and then wanting to repent. Hey, that's what he's about to get into too. Mm -hmm. uh, but if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. And that's, and, and that's just like how we talk about like the relationships like with the woman and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying first, you know, everything seems like it's going good. Y'all seem like y'all got to understand. Y'all seem like y'all vibing. Mm -hmm. You know, all of a sudden shit just go completely upside down. Yeah. Now you're like, damn. This bitch crazy. crazy. <laughs> what the fuck I done got myself into? Because now yeah. Sophia done forsook you because you yeah. didn't know how to deal with her. That's now right. she's giving you over to your own ruin and it seemed like Sophia's tormenting you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's getting you the fuck up out of here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry it's not working out, blah, 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 yeah. whatever, whatever. Yeah. Sophia going to chase your ass up out of there, man. That's right. <laughs> like what they call that with the honeymoon phase. Yeah, yeah. Your shit is all yeah. good. Yeah. What they say, the first six months, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Everything's good, no arguments. Yeah. It's lilies, it's flowers, it's yeah. roses, it's candy, Word. chocolate candy, cotton candy. Word. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you're taking her out. It's first six months, but then after that, that's when the turmoil comes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Word. But you got to know how to keep wisdom near and dear. Exactly. But exactly. what they call, like in the world, soulmates. Yeah. No matter if you go through your turbulence and your uh -huh. rough times, no matter what happens, y'all gonna come, y'all gonna stay together. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they say, you love something, let it go. If it come back, it was say, yours. Yeah, it's spirit, It'll it's never spirit. come back. Yeah. It was never yours. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. But what? We ain't never gonna let wisdom go, man. Through the spirit and power, yeah, I'll buy some, yeah, I'll shot. And then vice versa, man. Because the elect is the elect, you know. But even in the balance of what the prodigal son. Those that, uh, first and foremost, uh, when it's harping on with Israel, you know, when they, uh, you know, went away from the inheritance of the Lord, but what, they came back, you know, primarily the northern kingdom. You know, they came back and found their ways to Yahweh by Shemel mm -hmm. You know, sort of what, because why? The Lord is bound by his word. You know, it's the covenant, it's the agreement that he made. So just like a woman, you may have a covenant and agreement do your little pill talks or talks or whatever the case may be. If it's set in stone through the spirit of power, you have by some yahweh shah, it is meant to be, will be, man. And the elect is the elect. Uh, verse 20, observe the opportunity and be and beware of evil and be not ashamed when the concern of thy soul. Mm. For there is a shame that bringeth sin and there is a shame which is glory and grace. It's right, because there's a shame that bringeth sin when you're not humble. Here it is. If, if you go over there ranting or based upon your emotions, you know, that's a shame that could bring forth sin. But there's also a shame that could bring forth glory because that shame, which is a, runs parallel to um being humble, you know, that could bring forth honor unto you, man. You know, because the scriptures say before honor is humility, you know, so it's a balance that 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 that, that exemplifies balance in itself. There's a shame that bring forth sin. There's a shame that bring forth glory, man. You know, you want to suffer for righteousness, you know, so ultimately get out by some outside the vindication. You know, bring that out. You got something else after that. It's the rock 36 and 25. With no hedges, there the possession is spoiled. And he that have no wife will wander up and down mourning. That's right. He that have no wife will wander up and down mourning. That's why you see a lot of Jake in the position that they're in. Because why? They don't have Sophia, man. Mm -hmm. They don't have the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. Because when you have this knowledge, wisdom, and the understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, what's that ultimately bring forth? Peace. Exactly. You know, exactly. Peace. 
when you have peace, that eradicates confusion, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And you see Jake, man, wherever wherever you reside, Jake is walking up and down confused, not knowing whether they're coming or going, not knowing what time they're in. You know? They think they're in the time of the playoffs. They think they're in the time of the Super Bowl when that season comes. Not knowing they're in the time to repent, you know? But ultimately, they're walking up and down morning. So just like Jake, you know, when you don't have a woman, we all example those, uh, we all have been through those dry spells. Some brothers may be going through those dry spells right now, you know? You be mourning, you be burning, you be wanting a woman, you know what I'm saying? That's the same way two-thirds when they ain't got Sophia. You know, but if you don't have a woman, that's just the suffering that you got to go through at this particular moment. Because what? Wisdom is still trying you out. You know, wisdom is going to try you out and see if you're going to resort to those old ways in which you used to get women. You know what I'm saying? And negate her, you know, to see if you're going to go into that physical woman. You know, that's a test in itself, man. You know, so we got to remain spiritual. You know, keep your how about some your side first and know that them women is going to come in the kingdom, man, by the boatload, man. You know, Isaiah 4 and 1 is going to happen on this side, first and foremost, even before the kingdom is established. How much more the kingdom? And like they say, uh, coming to America, we want good, clean girls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Virgins, man. Women that smell like water. What's water smell like? <laughs> Nothing. You don't want no scent, man. Right. These bitches, man. Right. And you know when a bitch got too much scent, you know she's trying to cover up, man. So you know right. she ain't right. right. You want something that smell like water. Nothing, man. Right. We ain't getting that on this side, man. And that's right. it. Yeah, read that one time, up. Huh? It says, with no hedges, they're the possession to spoil you. Mm -hmm. He that has no wife will wander up and down more than you. Right, and with no hedges, they're the possession to spoil you. So a lot of our people thinking that they're obtaining Sophia, you know, but they don't have the proper heads because they're not built, building off of that foundation, which is your how about you know, shot. Um, so what they think they have is actually spoiled, it's rotten, you know, and it rottens their insides, their mind to the core even more, man, you know? So for hey, man, that. that's your how about Chanel shot be a GMS, um, you know? Can't um, forget about that. Um, yeah. A lot of guys think they can do it on, the, on their own, man. Um, yeah. 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 It says, with no hedges, they're, they're the possession is for you. Mm -hmm. and he that have no wife will wander up and down mourning. Right, he that have no wife will wind up and down mourning, man. You know, like our brother's saying, that's why we, Overall, as a people, we're in the situation in which we are in now, man. You know, but us through the spreading power of uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know, via uh, the pops and elders of Great Millstone, how the brother was saying, man. You know, we we not trying to end up like that, man. We chasing after Sophia, man. Sophia is all all we need within this world, man. And how the article we was getting into, you know, pretty much said like, well, uh, Sophia is a solution to all of our problems, man. You know, once again, so, you know, our brothers getting into, we ain't got to worry about no physical woman and different things of all that nature. There's only one woman that we need to chase, and that's Sophia, man, through the spirit and power of your house, Bosh, and our shop. You know, so, uh, and we hope, uh, you know, this segment was uh, edifying for Akim out there, for brothers to have that proper understanding on what it is, you know, to chase Sophia. So with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to look up there, doing his work of faith, and labor, love, truth, sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.